Hi everyone, this is Vineet Pandey and uh, as you can see, I am in the washroom. Oh my god, am I going to be the first professor of India to record a video for a washroom? Really? So, uh, before you start typing that this man is crazy, this man is mad and it can do anything. Yes, though I can do anything. I must tell you that the tub is very very important in literature. We're going to talk about the books related to the title tub and here we have the first writer, the gentle George, also known as George Etheridge. George Etheridge, the famous writer, wrote a famous work, Comical Revenge, also known as Love in a Tub, 1664, which was performed in Lincoln in Field, but went out of print. Though it was a great work, the comedy was really unique and very new. But remember, because after the ban was uplifted, then the restoration came, People like they started reading and watching anything. So it was watched, but uh, very, you know, less copies were printed. So this is the reason that we do not have the copies now. And uh, there is hardly any knowledge available of this thing. But remember, in this work, George Etheridge, who is also known one of the big five writers of Restoration, big fives, he used blank verse and rhyme couplets, heroic couplet. The important point is that remember the blank verse and important thing is rhyme couplet. He used it together, talked about the latest fashion. In fact, because of this work's success, he became one of the leading writers who knew about fashion. He became the friend of Earl of Rochester because of this thing. Here we have a hero, Frederick Frolic. He's a minor hero, you don't have to read it. He's chasing a rich widow and how the story is formed. This is simply that his comic jokes, his timings, his the way of flirting because it became celebrated. You know, after the ban of 11 years uh, given by the Puritans, people started falling in love, celebrating love, going for flirts and all. So this became a classic and then soon it went out of print because a lot of classics came like that. After this, we have one more work written by Ben Johnson. Timing is like Ben Johnson's work comes first. It is 1633. Technically, it's a play, but again of minor standard where a girl, Audrey, she wants to run away from a person who is actually her suitor, Squire, and his name is Squire Tub. So simply she hates Squire Tub and she has four more suitors. She makes a game, she plays a game that something has been uh, stolen from a family and then she makes those suitors to find out this. Again, a very simple comedy, Ben Johnson style. Remember this thing, that in this work, <coughs> Ben Johnson's Tale of Tub, here the references again have been taken from Bartholomew Fair, the Ben Johnson timing, the Ben Johnson contemporary area. And along with this thing, Remember this, that tub is actually the name of a person, Squire Tub, and the girl's name is Audrey. Now, we go for the next writer, Jonathan Swift. His famous work, Tale of Tub, was a prose parody written in 1697, published 1704. And remember, this Tale of Tub was widely misunderstood. Though it is also known as the greatest satire written by Jonathan Swift, it is also known as one of the greatest parodies written by Jonathan Swift. But at that time, people didn't understand this. It was widely misunderstood. In fact, the queen in herself banished Jonathan Swift from church and all his privileges were snatched away. He, it, you know, we should say that this work, this work made Swift notorious. And here you have to remember this thing, that the famous writer, Edmund Goose, who wrote the biography of, who wrote the biography of George Etheridge, he also cited the reference of Jonathan Swift's Tale of Tongue. Along with this, what happens in Swift's Tale of Tongue? Here, he takes the reference of the tub, which is actually uh, significance, uh, significant for a book. He says that when the great writers, they want to write a great work. Before every great work, they write a book which is low merit, which is bad, and then they throw it into the market. So all the critics, they target the bad book, they get involved to criticize the bad book, and the writers get plenty of time to write the good book. Remember this thing here, this is very pandest, and I'm telling you, in ancient era, it was the system of using these plastic tubs to divert the whale away. Means whenever the fishermen, they would go to water and the whales started chasing them because of the blood they would have of fishes, you know, cleansed to their boats. They would throw a plastic tub into the water and the whale would dive away for that tub thinking that it's another boat. So the same reference has been taken here by Jonathan Swift and here he gives us the allegorical message of the father who gives a coat to his three sons. Here we have Jack representing Calvinism, Peter representing Catholicism, and then we have Martin representing Lutheranism. In short, three sons given by the, uh, given the courts by the father, the God, 
and how these three sons they developed the coat because it is tattered how they mint the coat this is simply the allegorical message that the god is one all these three different branches are one we must respect all those things but it was not accepted so this is many pandey style guys if you find anything <clears throat> which inspires you you can write in the comment if you feel like that sometimes people they criticize they say that he shows his lavish life i want to tell you this that i am the one who struggled like anything i am the one who had to skip his lunch i am the one who had to skip by shoes for the offices so i worked hard i changed my life and this is all done and achieved by my own hard work so those who are criticizing me i request spare me with my lifestyle i am going to live it this is just one life i am going to work hard i am not going to surrender and i'll go for a more beautiful life if it inspires you you want to be like me i suggest you be better than me this is vinay pandey contact me on 8587035827 jai hind thank you so much for watching us and to subscribe and like our comments okay thank you so much